Hey, welcome back, Mr. Hayes. I am teaching or going through AP Stats. Um, in the Stats Minute curriculum, we're on the second part of our first video in Chapter 6 about random variables. And we're talking about discrete random variables. Three topics to kind of go through today, and then we'll do any, um, we're going to do a problem to check your understanding. So the first thing, probability distributions. You know, I really should lift up one of these tabs so they're easy to pull off. Anyway, note to self, if only I had a post-it note to write it on. Sorry. All right, so probability distributions, what you're going to end up doing is bait. typically they are made in uh, tables of two rows. You have your variable values across the top, and then you have the probabilities of each of those variables down below it, okay? Much like what we had on the previous page. Discrete random variable, it takes a fixed number of values, and there's gaps between the values. So again, things like number of children, um, what I also say, oh, number of games somebody has played. Um, anything where you, you're either in one camp or you're not. Okay? Number of socks you have. Um, number of baseball cards you own. Um, number of episodes of Doctor Who you've watched. Well, I suppose you could do half of one of those. But, you know, you kind of get the idea. Um, number of movies somebody has made okay? or been in. So that's, again, you've either been in the movie or you haven't been. Um, so. That's what's going to happen there. So there's, you know, there's no, you can't cut anything in half. Distances, however, you can. So that's going to be something else we're going to talk about later. A reminder of what histograms are and how they're set up. Values of X go down here. The probabilities are going up on the side. So students should know, you should know how to do histograms. You can look back on how to display data. However, this is just kind of a reminder of where this information from the probability distribution is going to go. And then lastly, in terms of mean and expected value, expected value is a different way of doing the mean of everything. Um, so the mean of x is equal to, remember, the sigma is a summation, and then x, uh, x sub i times p sub i. So what you're doing here is, remember, i is an index. So basically, uh, first value times first probability plus second, va second value times the second probability, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? And so you're just going to sum all of that up. This, again, some of you guys may not have made it up through pre-calc, and that's fine. Um, so that's going to be the big ideas there. Okay? And we'll come back to that at some point. Um, but we'll continue to, I shouldn't say come back to that at some point. We'll continue to talk about these types of ideas as we go. So your check for understanding. Here at my school, we're just after Thanksgiving. So we're getting ready for Christmas. Home Alone, series of American Christmas movies. Um, family Comedy, excuse me, created by John Hughes. There are five Home Alone movies. There's really five? That's, that's scary. Below is a possibility, here's a probability distribution of a number of Home Alone movies watched by a very large sample of high school students. So we get that. So there's a series of one, two, three, four questions that I would like you to go through and do. Hit pause, run through them, and we'll double check your answers here in a second. All right, here we go. So first question, write the event probability that the student has seen three Home Alone movies using probability notation. So that means you're going to be using P and then the parentheses for that and then find the probability. So here's the probability notation. So probability of X is equal to three. And then what you're going to do is remember one way you can do it is that you can take 100% minus all the different values. So that's what we're doing here. So one minus the sum of all the other values. So this number right here is going to turn out to be 8% or 0.08. Okay. Question number two, explain in words what P of X is greater than three is and what's the probability. So again, remember, when you're talking probabilities, phrasing is important. So in this case here, the probability of a randomly selected student has seen at least three Home Alone movies. Now, in terms of that probability, what we're going to end up doing there, so that would end up being the probability of x is greater than or equal to 3 is going to be 0.08 plus 0.02 plus 0.01. Back in the old days, we would say 8 hundredths, 2 hundredths, and 1 hundredth for a grand total of 11 hundredths. But, you know, 
back in my day, we also had cars with mileage of about 10 miles per gallon. So not everything's great back in the 80s. So make a histogram and probability distribution to describe its shape. Pretty straightforward here. In terms of describing the shape here, this one is definitely skewed right. Um, and we've got a peak at one moving. So most people have seen one. And to be honest, it's probably the best one. Um, calculate the expected value of x. So again, remember, this is what you're going to go through and do. We're going to take each of these values times the probabilities. So or if we go back up here, 0 times 15%, 1 times 42%, 2 times 32%, et etc., et cetera, and add them all up. So if we went through and did that, oops, there we go. Sorry, it's a little bit too far. So we get 1.43 movies. Now, the meaning of this is the following. And again, since we're talking about a probability average here, um, phraseology is important. If many, many students are randomly selected, the average number of Home Alone movies they have seen is about 1.43. Remember, we say about because we're rounding this number. And then from there, that's pretty much it. All right. So thanks for joining me. Random variables. If you want to click ahead, we'll continue out with chapter six here over the next couple of days. And um, have any questions, ask below, drop a like, hit a subscribe. I don't have Patreon, so I can't help you there. So anyway, we'll talk to you soon.